Well, how y'all doing? It's Thursday. Well, one more day, maybe we got the weekend. We can make it to it, not a problem. Today's shirt, how you like that? How appropriate. Science, it's not a liberal conspiracy, you morons. And how appropriate for today. This was another shirt that was sent to us by Fred and Lorraine Dooley in Fayetteville, Georgia. We talked about them yesterday. I'm so proud to wear their shirts. It just makes me happy. Uh, what's going on? Well, we all know what's going on. Donnie Dickhead has pulled out of the Paris Accord. We don't need no environmental stuff. We don't need to save the earth. We don't need to change, you know, do anything except make money. And uh, Donnie's made that pretty damn clear. I listened to him up there a little while ago. And to kind of paraphrase him, A, it costs too much to be in that Paris Accord. And B, if we stay, we're all going to die. We're all going to die of starvation because we don't have jobs. And, and, and you won't be able to go to the store because you won't have no money. And we're all going to die and, and nothing will matter anymore. You know, he's an idiot. And, you know, when, you, when it comes to climate change, everybody in the world agrees it is a problem. It is a problem we have to address. And except those who want the money. Donnie Dick and all of his little cohorts, Pruitt, EPA chief, he was out there speaking to, they don't give a crap about your water, your air, or anything else. They want their money. And you're getting in the way of it with all your regulations and rules and your hopes for the future and a clean world. All that means crap to Donald Trump. Nothing. Nothing. You talk about money, you'll get his attention, though. But he's just made it clear that the Paris Accord, they're just it's just a big transfer of wealth from our country to all the other countries. And that he's here to take care of Pittsburgh. He's not here to take care of Paris. Because that's probably what Donnie thinks is because it's called the Paris Accord. Well, it only affects Paris, France. You know, we got a Paris, Texas, too, Donnie. Bet you didn't even know that shit. Yeah, the whole world agrees on this. Only Syria and uh, who's the other country? Nicaragua, uh, I think, are the only two. Even North Korea signed the Paris Accord, you idiot. And they don't give a shit about their people, but they do belong to the same planet. They'd like to stick around. Boy, I got little wasps around here everywhere. Raining, so they'd come inside. Anyway, that's the whole deal there with these people. It's about money. It has nothing to do with anything else. And they'll just as soon burn this country to the ground because all they have to do to sell to the right is come up with a bumper sticker, a slogan. That's all. We're going to be fine, says Donnie. And that's all they need. They don't need science. Hell, they don't believe half of them. Believe, a lot of them believe the earth is only 6,000 years old. Go figure that shit. Here, hold this fossil in your hand. What's that? Oh, that's a million dollar, I mean a million year old fossil. Oh, that's blasphemy, blasphemy. Really, that's some of the mentality that we deal with, folks. Don't want to take science. They think it's a conspiracy against everything God did to put on this planet. It's Science is messing it up. Yeah, that's what we deal with, and that's who we have to drag into our 21st century to understand what the hell's going on. There's a cotton picket ice block the size of Delaware, the biggest ever, breaking off Antarctica. How you like that shit, Donnie? Son of a gun, man. You know, it was the people, it was the American people that stood up and raised their voice. That gave us the EPA. That's the one that we demanded that the environment start be taken care of. And they're up there this morning bragging about how well we've done. Well, now it's time to shut all that shit down. Make some more money. What the hell do you think got us here, you idiot? You keep, he keep, I'll tell you what his line is. Coal, baby. He's bringing back coal. There ain't a market for coal. There ain't nobody wants your stinking coal. Teach them people how to build windmills. How about that shit? Solar panels. Some new technology you could introduce to the area to create lots of jobs and wealth. No. Coal, that's it. Let's fire up them old locomotives. Get a guy to shovel that coal in there. We'll make America great again, huh, Donnie? You're an idiot. 
an idiot living in last century. We got to drag his ass up in here too. And it's pitiful. An ice block the size of Delaware is breaking off. He doesn't give a shit. He doesn't bring back acid rain as far as Donnie's concerned. It's all good. As long as people's making money, that's okay with Donnie. And as long as he gets a cut of the money, I'm going to try to do something there. We're not going to get his cut there. He wants his little sign on it. Don't freak him and cut him out of it either. And that's the big story of the day that we pull out of the Paris Accord that says volumes about our president and, uh, and all of his cronies. I've seen where old Jeff Sessions, damn, forgot to put another meeting down on the paper, Jeff. Ain't that some shit? You lied on another form and you left another meeting out of your report that you're supposed to give? The questions you were asked in your confirmation that you said no to were actually supposed to be yes, I did. You lying piece of crap. Jeff Sessions to me is just, a, he is as whitewashed a white supremacist as you're ever going to find. He's done blended in with everybody else, but believe me, I think that man is nothing but a racist. Call him out every chance I get. I don't... He's coming after your butt, California. I'm telling you, Colorado, get ready. And, uh, what else went happen? Well, there was a big uproar because Kathy Griffin, I like Kathy Griffin. I tend to really look forward to New Year's Eve watching her and Anderson Cooper bring in the New Year. She's a little spicy, and I like women a little spicy. There's nothing wrong with that. She's a little on the edge sometimes. I like that. But she held up a bloody head of Donald Trump. And, oh my God! Oh my God! Oh my God! Are you kidding me? Okay. Maybe bad taste. Maybe a good... I'm sorry. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. I didn't mean to promote violence. I was just trying to make a joke. No, that's not good enough. Let's fire her ass. Fox News is going nuts over this shit. Bullshit mountains out there. Oh, my God. Trump's family was in a tissy. They were all crying and upset and scared for their souls. Are you shitting me? Fox didn't have any problem with all those pictures of Obama being hung in effigy up by some pole all up and down protest all up and down the Cotton picking mall there and watch it, Dad. No, Fox News didn't say anything about Obama's life being threatened or anything. No, ain't that? <laughs> That's kind of funny. Kiss off, you assholes over at Fox. Kiss my ass, bullshit mountain. All this heyday over that shit. All right, Kathy, go ahead and apologize. I don't think you should be fired. That's bullshit. Bullshit from the highest book. I don't know. I don't like it. Well, what else is going on? I read a little story and I wanted to give a good little shout out to an establishment up in Chicago. And, uh, oh, it's a restaurant. The Blonde, or oh, I'm sorry, the Bottled Blonde. They serve beer and pizza. Yep, they serve beer and pizza. Well, that's if you get your ass in the door. They put up a dress code for their pizza parlor. And I can't go through everything. Because that damn sign, if I was standing next to it, and I'm over six foot, would go up over my waist in small print what you're not allowed to wear in there, and it covers everything from your pants, your shirts, your t-shirts. They don't even allow flannel. Flannel! Flannel! I wear flannel in the winter if it's cold. Are you an idiot? No, flannel, you can't, it covers your hats, what kind of hat you can wear, and how you wear it in your shoes. You can't have a pair of Nikes on. Or there was a list of about five other cotton-picking shoe names that you can't wear in there because they don't like it. The best I can figure, and somebody on Twitter said it. Don't know who it was. I, I just read the little tweet there. It said that it uh, seems like the uh, acceptable dress code would be a white sheet over the head with little holes cut out so you can see with a little pointy hat. That's acceptable in these places. They made that damn dress code so strict and so specific the only people coming in that door are upper class white people. That's it. Nobody else. If you're brown, don't think about coming in here, buddy. And not only that, they put a little note at the bottom that if they object to something you're wearing, oh, we can't let you in here with that flannel shirt in. on. Well, we go out to the car and I'll change shirts. Ah, uh -uh, that doesn't change the decision. It doesn't matter if you go and change your appearance. The decision has been made. You're not going to be allowed in the restaurant. Get your brown butt down the road. 
Go get you a tamale or something. That's what these people are. They're nothing but a racist group who want nothing but upper class white people in their establishment. The bottled blonde in Chicago, baby. If you see it, walk by the door, flip them the bar and tell them you'd rather have a McDonald's over their crappy pizza. Yeah, I don't know what it tastes like, but if that's all you're serving, there ain't no spice in that shit. That's a bunch of crackers. Ain't that pitiful. Anyway, I also want to give out a shot to a guy named Wayne Allen Root. Evidently, he's a big deal. He's got a TV show and a radio show, and he's the conspiracy, conspiracy theory of the day guy. He's, I guess, going to take Alex Jones. That guy, remember him, Alex Jones? I'm going to tear him off the wall. Well, we got another one, and he's already come out and said that if he was put in a cage with any real liberal, he would break their bones and give them a black guy. I'm pretty well typical liberal down here. I'm about as liberal as you can get, asshole. I looked at your picture. I think I could slap the bitch out of you. So, but that's what this is. He's up there bragging on his show about the reason that Trump will never leave office is because of the fact that they are forceful. He touted G Giaforte up there, the guy that, that hit the reporter up there in Montana. That's why Trump will not get in trouble. It's because his minions will come to his rescue. We will not allow this. Really? Really? You'd rather burn our Constitution and everything this country stands for in your bullying-ass ways that, that you threaten people? That is the mentality that they're pushing people on that right, that it's okay to intimidate, to attack, to say anything you want to anybody you want because Donald Trump's the president and he'll protect you. He'll probably provide your bail money. That's what he said before. I'll bail you out of jail. No, he won't. He's not going to spend a dime on your ass. But he will incite your shit to, to violence anytime. He has not yet come out and had a, a major statement about the violence that goes on in this country and the hatred that his side is promoting. That the Republican Party promotes hatred. It promotes racism. It promotes any dark side of that crap you want to find over there. The Republicans are pushing that shit. Violence, hell yeah, they love that game. And that's what it is, though. Yeah. They'd just as soon kick you in the teeth than give you a time of day if they thought you were a liberal. Doesn't matter if you're an American. Doesn't matter if you're a veteran. Doesn't matter what the hell you are. If you're not a right-wing fanatic white supremacist, they'll kick you in the teeth, buddy. Because they don't give a shit about you. And they don't give a shit about me either. I'm pissing off a lot of people. I'm running scared, ain't I? I don't think so. I'll be right here. Anyway... Every day until we get his ass out. Every day I'll call a little cockroaches exactly what they are. Scum sucking cockroaches. And there's a bunch of them out there and that's what their game is. Violence. And they'll play it any time they get. Anyway, ain't that a wonderful note? We need to change this country and we need to change the attitude. We need to change the, 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 the air in this country because it smells like crap and it smells like violence. And we don't need violence. They got all upset because Kathy held his head up. Well, it's violence. I do not recommend violence on any nature. I will, you know, not instigate another fight in my life, I reckon. But I'll damn sure defend myself any which way I can. And that way could be very painful to you. Anyway, and lethal too. Anyway, I hope y'all have a good day. Blue dots around the world, we have to stay strong because this is what we're facing, that right-wing mentality of anything evil will do. Anyway, y'all take care. Stay in the streets. Stay loud. We got a protest coming up the 3rd. I think that's Saturday. March for Truth. Y'all get in the street every day when you can and make our voices loud all across this land and across the world, around the world. So on that note... Whew, it's getting hot in here, baby. I'm going to take it down and uh, shipped out a bunch of shirts this morning. That's why I'm so late with this today. I stood at the post office for a long time, told my story to the girl behind, I mean behind the counter, and pissed off a few people in line. So made my day. I hope you all have a good day, too. Later. Bye.